convert more first downs with this deadly stock play coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you are looking to take your game to the next level and you're looking for different ways to go ahead and expand your playbook, I want to go ahead and show you some great tips. First and foremost, hit the subscribe button, the notification icon, so you can get my daily tips. Uh, my goal is to provide you with at least daily content of different strategies and formations and how to run certain plays. All right, so guys, we're going to stay back in the Green Bay play, uh, the Green Bay Packers playbook. I'm going to do this. This is going to be three-part series out of this particular formation, which is to be the gun doubles flex. I'm going to show you two base plays that you can call uh, with confidence on third downs. When you need to get a first down, you can go to these plays, and these plays are so overpowering that you can go ahead and get first downs with it, and you can confidently call it because they basically attack your opponent in all different areas of the field. And if you know how you know your reads, you will convert first downs. Um, I'm also going to show you um, a breakdown of some of the two of the audibles too, just to go ahead and stretch the ball a little bit further further and also give you a nice little run play so uh, I want to take I want to take a look at the first play which is uh, the uh, halfback circle now I've only identified the halfback circle in two playbooks right now uh, like out of the gut doubles flex and that is out of um, the uh, Giants and obviously the Packers uh, but what I love about this play is that you have a smash concept off to the left and then you have a deep out which is a stock deep out which is so difficult to find uh, and then you have a, a halfback angle with a seam route with the with the, uh, the the tight end these route combinations are phenomenal they're phenomenal and you can basically attack your opponent from one side or the other really what's really really cool about this so we're going to run this against random defenses I know a lot of people like to run uh, cover four but this is going to destroy cover four um, so we're going to run this against random nickel defenses all right, so guys, um, basically my my reason, my progressions are going to be based on whether I've got press coverage or if I got coverage that is actually off. Now, if it's off, I'm really going to be focusing on the right side of the field because the combination of Adams. Bennett and Montgomery, I'm going to get a hole somewhere in this coverage, depending on whatever coverage it is, if he's got off coverage, because I know Adams essentially is going to basically get um, an easy release and the outside release, and if a defender floats up to go ahead and take away Adams, they try to double team Adams, Montgomery or Bennett are going to go wide open. So we're just going to go ahead and throw this, and as you can see, uh, I actually dumped it down to the running back. I'm going to show you what I was looking at. And then we're gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and run this play a few more times to show you how fast I'm getting rid of this ball. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take a look at this guy. Now, as you can see, the defender actually bites down and chucks him. So that's probably a cover two shell. And as you can see right now, these guys jump back into cover twos. It was off coverage cover two. So uh, basically, I'm not gonna throw that out route because this defender is anticipating an out route. He's gonna gobble it up. But because this seam route is actually clearing out, and we also have another defender that's actually occupied occupied by this other seam route this this little angle route is wide open underneath so that's what I do love about it and you can run this play just consistently against any kind of coverage it really doesn't make much of a difference so right here out route uh, the defender actually falls back that's where I'm gonna go and pop it I'm getting 15 uh, 15 yards a shot with that particular route because defenders just can't get out there in time. It's just a, such a unique route. Uh, it used to be very popular Madden in previous Maddens, but uh, it just isn't the case anymore. All right, so we got press coverage right here. Uh, and as you can see, uh, my defender actually gets chucked, so I'm just going to go right to the running back route. This is going to be the next read that I'm going to go with uh, with this particular play, and I'm able to go ahead and pick up a good 10 yards right there. Off coverage. Just go ahead and just chuck it down to, to the out route. So I'm, I'm popping my opponent. I'm not even attacking attacking a seam yet uh, with, the, with the tight end. Uh, it, depending on the coverage, uh, I can actually go ahead and attack it, especially if he's using some guy in the middle. He's coming down and biting. That seam route will be wide open with the tight end. So uh, it's just it's a very, very effective play to go ahead and attack your opponent with. Now let's go back on the back side. Uh, with uh, with the other route combinations. This is not necessarily the best combination that I like uh, on the backside, but what I like to do is actually take this wide receiver, either leave him stock, put him on a slant, or actually go ahead and put him on a whip route. Now on a whip route, sometimes what happens is you're going to go ahead and get um, uh, a, um, you're going to get animation with the, with the defensive back. He's either going to bite or he's actually going to come up. Uh, that So right here, let's see. 
I got a corner route right there and is able to go ahead and hit that uh, with a corner route. Now that was actually some kind of a cloud flat right there, but with the whip route, uh, if you got there you go. So able to go ahead and pick that ball up right there with it with a little crossing route right there because the defender actually falls down. Um, with the whip route, uh, basically it's going to give you an opportunity to go ahead and catch your opponent off guard a little bit. If you got press coverage, sometimes what you can do is you can actually go ahead and just hit this little route underneath. And, or you can just wait for the, the coverage to float up too. So that's another way you can you can run smash. I like the I like the passing concept off on the right. I, I, I pass with that a little bit more confidence uh, than than the other one. But you can see right here, I can just go in and wait for this play to develop. So if you want to, what you can do too is actually go ahead, take a look to the right side, and then come back to the left side. If, if your opponent uh, is is floating down, you can actually hit that little corner route, making it a very difficult for them. Guys, if you if you haven't labbed this particular play out of the Packers playbook or out of the Giants playbook, uh, the halfback circle out of the the um, uh, doubles flex, the gun double flex, uh, you got to take a look at it. This play is phenomenal. I'm going to try to use it uh, a little bit more in my gameplay uh, just because I, it's easy to go and pick up easy first downs with this particular play. It's just so difficult. Uh, it's so difficult to stop. So to my subscribers, thanks a lot for once again for, for checking out my channel and, and actually supporting my channel. If you like this tip, uh, if you're not using if you're not using this play, gotta, you got to put this play in your game right away. Hit the like button. Let me know about that. Also, if you guys want to see all my tips well in advance, this, this tip was posted well in advance on my on my Patreon account. You can go to my Patreon account and see all my ebooks broken down and well in advance for my for my subscribers. So once again to my subscribers, thank your support and until next time.